Uh oh. Great speckled walls. No hour is too early for VidCon. I really didn't want to cut anything else out of this video, guys. Going to VidCon! Yeah, it's 20 minutes long, but nevertheless, I think you'll really enjoy this. We're on the process to VidCon. It's the square people pipe. VidCon was really incredible, and every time I get on an airplane and journal at 30,000 feet, I'll never not be astounded by flying. There's a huge excitement in thinking about experiences that will happen that I'm planning and ones that are unexpected. So many square people pipes. Enough. We're done. I mean, how can you not keep volunteering after something like that? It's like 67 outside right now, and it's hazy. It's like perfect weather. For this Jenga set. <laughs> gonna say the market is oversaturated. Please do not attempt. <laughs> it's too late. You should have done it 10 years ago. Dad. Dad. <laughs> if you still love doing it and no one watches your shit, you're doing all right. in the two Atari shirt today. Come on, focus. Just about caring about people, caring about things. As a foundational quality, just caring about things. Caring deeply about lots of things provides you a lot of opportunities to get things accomplished and collaborate with people and just collaborate. Just do awesome things, you know? You can't consume it all and see everything, but you definitely always have opportunities to create experience for people, such as when I got to volunteer or when I got to hand out ribbons and do the scavenger hunt. It was all a process and learning so much. So with Smarter Every Day, I try to show the process of discovery and try to instill the desire to learn. So it's a, 
it, it's kind of like more of a fundamental thing. It kind of flips a little bit. I, I trick them. Like, you trick them into wanting to. Like, that's why I use YouTube in my classroom. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for coming. That's the end of the panel. <laughs> well, welcome to the Less Than Famous panel. And some of the best things to remember are just Hank's conversational points between well, songs. I was writing in a band. A band? I wish I was writing in a band with my brother. I was writing in a No, I don't. And he's not very musical. <laughs> John, guess what? Like, dude, no edge! Because the universe doesn't exist in any way we can conceive it. No, listen to no edge to none of that, whether or not you can believe it. And once upon a time, in a gas in liquid stew, a molecule's like, hey, I turned me into you. This may be the biggest mystery of all the ones in which we dwell. How the universe created a tool. We need to know itself. It's freaking weird. Yeah, this is the largest portion of the video. There's something a little different about this than I think most shows. <laughs> Once upon a time, the universe exploded, and then ever since then, that moment was inevitable, apparently. <laughs> it's comforting in some ways. Very, very terrifying in others. I should have, why did I not do that into the mic? <laughs> Jeez, that was a super missed opportunity. Gotta make sure, no more fun. No fun allowed. We're taking it down, remember? We're getting ready for our bath. What's better than a rock show? Bath! <laughs> oh, several people were like, no! And it's like, I don't care, I'm still happy. It's like, I have a shower, it's like a bath, but you're standing up. It's like a standing up bath. It's like a jacuzzi, except it's just little dribble. It's like you're standing under a leaky jacuzzi. Can you, can you believe that we can all just take hot showers whenever we want? I'm just gonna put like hot water all over my body. <laughs> Every day. Look, someday there will be no humans left to remember that humans were even here. Much less Harrison the June Bug. Welcome to VidCon, everyone. This is the <laughs> awesomeness TV festival stage brought to you by Hollister. We're all going to die. This is a really weird know. show. <laughs> this song is about quarks. Does not usually rule, end up with. <laughs> How's everybody doing tonight? <laughs> We're very supportive, and you like what I have done. And <laughs> that really, like, what else can a person ask for? Um, so, uh, find. I hope that you are finding lots of other things to love and people that you are enjoying hanging out with here at VidCon. Um, it is a, the best place to do that because look, it's people who like the things that you like. I'm a big fan of you. I'm your biggest fan. There's nothing there. So like, babe, I'm just gonna stop playing guitar and tell you a story. The vlog brothers and many of other my YouTube role models always remind me that the more interested you are in your audience, the people around you, you put people first, the more fun, weird, and interesting things happen, like messing around with fidget spinners. Oh! Wait, wait, you think it's like two people and it's like oh! eight. Airbnb excitement. <laughs> and staying up until stupid o'clock to build a giant couch pillow cushion fort and then proceeding to take a selfie and then jump on top of it as a group of people. Ah, uh, never gets old. Seeing other YouTube communities grow and working on the Road to Nerfiteria team really feels at the heart and core of what it means to build community. Road to Nerfiteria and Nerfiteria as a whole, you all have almost said, just stepped away from um, John and Hank, where it's you live in your own realm, and that's super exciting and interesting to me as someone who has been focusing more on a general creator community. What, what if I could take this piano and travel around the world with it? Excuse me, sir. I noticed that there's like a, a problem with your leg. I am a professional fun haver.
great how do we start a channel it can really be pretty simple and my first step is listening and technology is beautiful and amazing and it's been able to help me get my music out to the world but what i want to do with my music is to help people feel a little less alone i hope you don't mind me use the podium so i'm tired of walking around it's been a long long lots of walking arounds there's a very specific legal way that it actually exists and it's this word we license our content to YouTube. The reality that I feel in my heart was from Simone of Shitty Robots, who said it's like a municipality where you decide to invest in property. That's the property of YouTube, and that's kind of weird. Hey, VidCon, Michael here. <laughs> <laughs> Just like on the screen. What if YouTube was an actual tube? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. So <laughs> every year volunteering is unforgettable, both creating and enjoying this conference. But we wanted to say thank you so much for volunteering at VidCon. We hope that it has been a good year for you uh, and a fun year. Yeah. There you all got a selfie with Hank. Yeah. Hank, where will you post those selfies? Just send Hank your email address and he'll get it to you as quickly as possible. The heart and soul of this thing is uh, in the volunteers and in you guys especially. I know there, I can see lots of faces of people who've been here over and over again, including some people who've been here for eight years in a row. Thank you guys. Uh, I hope that uh, this continues to be a rewarding experience for you, but we are just uh, so grateful for, for all your work. I know that sometimes, you know, people get frustrated. It can be extremely difficult too. So uh, we really appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, thank you. I'm continuously honored by people caring, wanting so bad to help that that system of appreciation, where it's like, I just want to give you my time. And I'm so like pleased and honored to have you want to give your time to this. Um, and like the, you know, I hope that the, the value comes back to you as well in the form of tacos or other forms. <laughs> yeah, there, there will be cake. Just a few that there may be cake. Um, and uh, yeah, we, we have, I hope that you guys have had a really good uh, like experience with our team, the people who work here at the ACC, all of our uh, vendors, our, our security people. I think they did a really amazing job this year. Some hard times and some difficult moments, but um, I appreciate all of you helping out with all of them. And of course our staff, like Nick. And Colin! Yeah. And of course Colin, yeah. who had quite, quite a bit of time. Was he there? Hey! Mostly that guy. Just all that guy. And this is very sad. Such an interesting group of people, aren't we? And I mean that in the most important, fun way.
But when somebody else tries to, I'm a Bruce Lee, oh, 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 oh. Cause I don't know when I'd be without you. Probably on the couch, I'd never leave the house. I don't know when I'd be without you, be without you. Need a hand, I got two. I could hold you up, cause that's what friends do. Too late, so I'm dead a heartbeat to love you. Oh, oh, cause I got you. To tell you that there'll be a therapy, but you know, I do that shit for free. I never thought I'd find another mind that's twisted and crazy and messed with his mind. What happened to the mind? I think that we've all called it a bunch of fun. So did I give you the feels? I hope I gave you the feels. What Katie Morton really said about listening in her keynote speech struck me this year. I really feel sincerely grateful and blessed to have such a supportive library of people that continues to develop and change and grow and just to create awesome value with people that I care about and that really inspire me and that I admire. Thanks for watching. Keep being you. Don't forget to be awesome. And as always, everybody Polka. Too late.